All right, everybody. So today we're diving into something pretty interesting. Um, yeah, this should be a fun one. Yeah, we're looking at Peninsula, you know, this HR consulting firm based in the UK. Mm -hmm. And you might be thinking, HR consulting firm, that sounds kind of dry. But trust me on this one. You buckle up. This is juicy. We're talking about a seriously scathing employee review. Yeah, this isn't like your average, oh, I wish the coffee was better kind of review. No, no, no. This is... Um, this gets into some serious allegations about what it's like to work there, specifically in their face to face department. Exactly. And and that's actually a really important point to bring up right away because, you know, Peninsula, they're supposed to be the experts, right? Right. They're advising other companies on HR issues. Exactly. So when you see an employee review this bad, it's kind of like finding out your dentist has a cavity. Right. It really makes you question their credibility. Totally. And this review does not hold back. It claims Peninsula violated labor laws, ignored employee grievances, like literally not practicing what they preach. Yeah. And, and you know, we have to acknowledge the potential ramifications for Peninsula if these allegations are true. I mean, nope. we're talking lawsuits, fines, reputational damage. It could really impact their business. Absolutely. And it goes beyond just the legal stuff, too. The review paints this picture of a potentially toxic workplace. The reviewer mentions high turnover, which is always a red flag for me. Yeah, high turnover can be a symptom of deeper issues within a company. You know, think about it, constant churn. It often points to things like poor management, lack of growth opportunities, or yeah, a toxic work environment. Yes. Exactly. And then on top of all that, you have the specific allegations being made in this review. Unpaid overtime pressure to work while sick, a culture of gossip. These aren't just minor complaints. These point to a potential disregard for employee well-being and their basic rights. Right. It's like it's one thing to say you value your employees in some carefully worded statement. Yeah. But it's another thing entirely to actually foster an environment where employees feel safe, respected and valued. Absolutely. Actions speak louder than words. A hundred percent. And there was this one detail in the review that really stood out to me, even though it seems kind of small. They mentioned pizza as a reward. Uh, yes. The classic pizza party. It's like they think a pizza party can make up for a whole laundry list of problems. Right. It's almost insulting. It's yeah. like they're trying to put a Band-Aid on a broken bone. Yeah. They're not really addressing the root causes of employee dissatisfaction. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, for a company that consults on HR to make that kind of misstep, it's just like, come on, guys. You should know better. It really shows a disconnect between how management perceives employee morale and what's actually going on. Totally. So anyway, obviously Peninsula caught wind of this review, and they actually issued a response. They said they were incredibly concerned and emphasize their commitment to a positive work environment and their you know amazing benefits package it's kind of the standard corporate response mm -hmm. but did you notice what was missing what's that a direct refutation of the claims they didn't actually deny any of the specific allegations oh that's interesting they just kind of screwed it around it exactly and they also made sure to mention their zero tolerance policy which i found kind of ironic given that the reviewer specifically called out a culture of fear around speaking up. Yeah, that definitely seems at odds with the whole zero tolerance thing. Right. So it really makes you wonder. It does. So, OK, let's bring this back around to you listening to this right now. What does all this mean for you, especially if you're considering a job at Peninsula? Right. Well, first of all, we're not saying don't work there or that Peninsula is a terrible employer. We're just presenting one side of the story. Exactly. This is just one review. It's yeah. not the be all and end all, but it's still important information. It's definitely something to be aware of and to factor into your decision-making process. For sure. So if you do end up having that interview at Peninsula, don't be afraid to ask some pointed questions. Yeah. Ask about employee retention, particularly in that face-to-face -face department. See if you can get a sense of their process for handling employee concerns. Ask about their overtime policy. Be observant. Pay attention to how they answer and not just what they say. Do their answers seem genuine? Do they align with your values? Trust your gut on this one. And, you know, if you really want to dig deeper, try to find information about other departments at Peninsula. You know, see what the employee experience is like in other areas of the company. Yeah. It might give you a broader perspective. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. The more informed you are, the better equipped you'll be to make the right decision for you. Couldn't agree more. So good luck with your job search. We're rooting for you. And in the meantime, keep those questions coming because you never know what we might deep dive into next.